Um, I've often described my book as a parfait of birds, art, and life, and right now I'm a parfait of gratitude, um, disbelief, and nausea. <laughs> so, um, and I think my brain just fled the room, um, so I'm not even going to try to ad-lib. I did write down some thank yous, um, and I'm going to read them to you now. Um, I'm, I'm very overwhelmed. Um, I want to begin by thanking my love, David Wall, and my sons, Yoshi and Mika, who have brought me more love and jokes than I could ever have dreamed possible. And Martha can attest to the joke. She laughed at them last night. Um, I want to thank my parents, who teach me daily that care is not a side project or a punishing extra shift, to use the words of Ann Boyer, but intrinsic to the way we live. I want to thank the jurors who saw something worthy in this book. Um, I'm so grateful. And to the OMDC and to my fellow nominees who gobsmack me with your talent. Your books are so beautiful, and I'm so honored to be in your company. Um, and I just want to also say that I'm so grateful that you're fighting both on the page and out in the world. Uh, I want to thank Westward Creative Artists, Carolyn, Liz, Meg, Stephanie, and a particular thanks to the Doubleday team um, who rallied and came out tonight, especially Ashley Dunn, Ward Hawks, Scott Richardson, uh, Amy Black, and Kristen Cochran. And finally, I want to thank my nimble guides, my beloved editor and dear friend, Martha, who's often late, <laughs> even to the stage. Um, this is all you're doing, Martha. And um, I also want to thank you for laughing so much and sharing so much laughter. And to my bird guide, the musician Jack Breakfast, who led me on this year-long excursion um, at a time when I really needed uh, to be out in the world, and who calls himself no big hotshot, but he really is a big hotshot. So if look him up. Um, he's infinitely wise and hilarious, and I'm so grateful to him. And to end, because this is a provincial award, I want to thank the Ontario Arts Council and the Chalmers Fellowship in particular that sustained me. Um, and also, I want to say one last thing. Um, in the next few weeks and years and minutes and days, um, we're going to see a further evisceration of vital public services and attacks on the most important aspects of our culture and our commons. And by commons, I mean our cultural commons, but also the commons, the wild commons that we share um, with our more than human kin. And so I think we're going to need to summon all our powers of care, attentiveness, and fierce resistance to protect all those spaces and the most vulnerable. And the good, le the good news, and this is a lesson I've learned from birding, and forgive me for making a clumsy analogy, is that birds um, have taught me that even the most small and the most vulnerable can withstand gale force winds if they fly in flock formation. So I hope we'll all stand together in solidarity. Thank you very much. <laughs>